Uh, hi and welcome to another uh, Blender Generate Modifier video. Um, so this time uh, we are skipping the skin one for now uh, and I need to do a little more research before I can show you guys about it. Uh, but we're going to do the solidify modifier for this one. So take this, add a solidify modifier and it just makes the surface thick. Um, and to really see what's going on, press the toggle x-ray mode and then to add thickness. So that's kind of what it does. So whatever your object is right here, it's got kind of like skin here and it's, it's a lot thick. It's a lot thicker. Uh, offset just makes it bigger. Even thickness just means the thickness is even throughout the entire object um, rim fill not too sure what this does but I guess it just fills in the middle um, normals it'll flip the inside and out so like inverse face direction like that so this I think might be hollow uh, let's apply it so we can see tab edit mode and do faces and then control R that control R then oh face mode right delete this face and let's see what's inside oh oh cool right so inverted this Oh, we're still in object. Let's go back to object mode uh, and let's delete that. All right, uh, and we're going to flip it back and then go x ray mode right here, right? Let's see if the inside in here should be empty. And this should actually, it'll be pretty empty too. Because <laughs> even if you flip it, it's oh, oh, what's going on? Let's apply it. Oh, we gotta go to object mode for this. All right, apply it. And let's see, edit mode, face mode, delete. All in all, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter if you invert it or not. Uh, it will still be hollow. Uh, but yeah, faces just get flipped, I guess. Um, this is pretty good good when you're like trying to make an object within an object but you don't want to do a bunch of like just literally putting a square within a square and then just joining them you could do it with this modifier the solder modifier and just get this done really a, fa a lot faster um this also reminded me of kind of like the what's it called the thickness um effect like where if you move the body of an object, uh, it, it has that like line art, but yeah, this, this wouldn't help with that, I think. Um, all right, let's do another object. Another example, I mean, object, delete, shift A, something a little more there. All right, let's add solidify. Human thickness. Whoa. Okay. Maybe not. So now we can make our monkey a little chunky. This might be useful for like um, what's it called? For like, let's say we make a human, uh, and we want to make them a little bigger. Uh, this modifier could actually be really useful there. Thickness here, like that. Uh huh. So only rim, so we get rid of the extra here. Okay, nice. Okay, I get what that means now. So fill just fills in the void as you thicken or solidify things. Um, normals flip. So you can go from the big chunky to just the inside of the chunky, which is just the original pretty much. All right. Uh, hope this helps. It's pretty simple, but 
pretty powerful. Uh, just gonna do a little bit more experimentation here. All right, until the next time.